Hello, fashion enthusiasts. This is another video about fashion models who only booked the Victoria's Secret fashion show once. Today is the Victoria's Secret. <laughs> like the big extravaganza. I'm very nervous today. I'm excited. The first model in this video is Irish model Katrina Balfe. She walked for Victoria's Secret back in 2002. Since she was a model in the 2000s, she was a victim of fat shaming. I mean, in castings, believe me, I've, I've, you know, people have like slapped my thigh and I'm, I'm not in any sense overweight. I never have been. I've maintained, you know, the same weight for a long time, but like they'll slap your butt and be like, oh, you know, fat in Italian or in French, you know, it's like it's too big here. She posed for Dolce & Gabbana in 2006. Her magazine covers are always promotional for her movies. Catriona felt like she did not belong in the Victoria's Secret fashion show. I mean, generally Victoria's Secrets and, and, you know, that kind of work, it's definitely, you know, more the Brazilian girls who've got, you know, the perfect hands and, you know, it's the land of great bodies. And for me, you know, I would never usually have been considered before as, as a as sexy kind of being able to do that. So it's great that, you know, I get a chance to to do something different. Inja Savitz is one of the three Estonian models to have ever walked the Victoria's Secret fashion show behind Carmen Cass and later Carmen Pedaru. She also walked for this brand back in 2002. She acknowledged the importance Victoria's Secret had in a model's career. If you ask people on the street, they wouldn't know names of the designers. But if you say, I'm doing Victoria's Secret, they look at you differently. Even though her time with Victoria's Secret was short-lived, she is a concurring Versace girl and a favorite of Alessandro de Lacqua. Inja became a model because of her interest in wanting to be a designer. Well, it's all started from my desire to be a designer, but of the clothing. And during that period, I met some people who invited me to be a fashion model. And during my fashion years, it was the best school because I was working with the big designers. It was only the best. Like, uh, I would work with Yves Saint Laurent, uh, Valentino, uh, Versace, Dior. I've been walking like kilometers on podiums in any kind of possible and impossible shoes. This video concludes with Hungarian model Rika Ebergeni. She as well only walked for Victoria's Secret in 2002. Although she did not continue to work with this brand, she became the face of various cosmetic brands like Lancome and Caudalí. She also went on to pose for Gap and Patek Philippe. Her magazine covers are always casual and feminine.